Hey, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is Katrina. I also go by Miss Brown Cali. I need you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. And let's get into this Basketball Wives. So today, the ladies took the trip to San Diego, okay? And um, looked like a nice little spot they had. Um, but it looked like to me, uh, you know, some of the ladies, you know, they staggered in. Looked like Malaysia came to fight. Uh, she didn't come all dolled up like she usually do. Hair pulled back in the ponytail. She didn't really have much to say. She's pretty quiet this trip. But, of course, Jennifer, up to her same old tricks as usual. Uh, she pulls this little routine. Uh, she wants everybody to feel sorry for her. I understand she's grieving. She lost her mother, but this whole thing about you talking about somebody's child is just doing too much. It's just doing way too much. And then you don't want to own up to what you said. You want to still keep playing games like you didn't say it, like you didn't do it. I have a serious problem with that. I have a very serious problem. You don't comfort people kids period not only did you talk about Evelyn's child then you didn't want to own up to it in front of everybody you want to you, you tell Shawnee oh yeah we'll, we'll you all agree to do it at the dinner then at the dinner you want to sit there and don't say anything you know you just seem like a very manipulative conniving person it was like no I'm going to go to dinner and you're going to go there too. And we're going to sit there and stuff because, you know, you're not going to fight me. You're going to do what I want. And you're going to listen to me on my terms. After, I didn't talk about your daughter. I didn't say some inappropriate comments about your daughter. What I could not understand about this whole Tonight's show was that, you know, the other things that happened in the show. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll touch on that later. But what I couldn't understand is when she finally did do the apology, Evelyn broke down because I guess she was hurt by, you know, you know, you were someone I trusted in. I saw you as more of a sister and I allowed my daughter to be close to you. And you hurt not only me, but my child also. And you you were able to do this to her. And I can forgive you, but I don't know how close we're going to be after this situation. I couldn't mess with her again, ever. I can forgive you. I can accept your apology. But we done. You know, we're supposed to forgive one another. But we done. You crossed that line. That, that, that imaginary line that ain't no coming back from. Girl, you didn't hit that wall. You didn't cross it. You didn't burn that bridge. You didn't set that bay on fire. And this no longer exists. You publicly... Well, you didn't publicly talk about my child. But publicly, everybody know you were calling my child out her name. And ain't no coming back from that. We can't be friends ever again. There's, there's no use of us being friends. You killed that friendship. And you knew it and you didn't care about it. And you are such a deceitful person. You just kept lying about it this whole time. Like this is, what, episode six? So how many months into this you was lying last season? When uh they went, where'd they go? They took the little trip somewhere in Europe when uh, Malaysia threw the table at Jennifer and you still was lying about it. So it took you, what, a whole year to admit that you, you said something? Girl, bye. All of this for a check. Ain't that much money in the world. So I don't get that. I don't I don't get that. You didn't talk about uh, Shawnee Kid's father. You talked about Shaq, like, what's the big deal, so what? You said that uh, Evelyn had sex with 
shack. You know, put that out there. You you started. You've done too much. You've done way too much. I can't even rock with you. You you're done. I guess these ladies have contracts where they need to keep them around because I can't understand in the real world we don't roll like that. We don't we don't hang with snakes. You 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 get rid of them. You chop off the head. And Jennifer is definitely a snake. Uh the fact that your mother died, we all we all mourn. We all gonna lose our parents one day. That's part of life. Well, hopefully you, you bury your parents and they don't bury you. That's the way it's supposed to go. There's still no excuse for what you've done. Your actions are way out of line. This makes no sense at all. You did you did way too much. So this that's the whole thing about Jennifer. The the whole thing about uh the rest of the ladies. Um it seems weird to me how everybody just likes to sit back and just watch, like, be entertained and see how far and how long they're going to allow the lies to continue. And the fact that Jennifer always has to have a sidekick, like, you know you do your dirt and you need some protection now. You need some extra security. You, you know the security on the show, they're not going to let you fight, but you have to bring some extra security uh, because... You let your mouth overflow your ass. That's basically what you do. So, as far as the rest of the ladies, this is going to be interesting next week. They showed a little snippet about this whole Phoebe, which I thought was interesting because oh, I thought it was interesting because they showed a little snippet of next week where OG confronts Phoebe about the little rap thing she did um supposedly about the whole fake louis vuitton shirt and stuff calling her fake and stuff which like i said phoebe's weak you know you sit up there you felt like the woman uh, rubbed you the wrong way or said something inappropriate or whatever you never addressed it you never confronted her about it you never said anything to her you want to do some little sneak diss behind her back like girl bye and then when og confronts you you act like you didn't do it. you like, oh, play dumb. Like, you scary. <laughs> Which I thought, <laughs> these young chicks is something else. But what I think is very interesting is that I was uh, noticing, like, on a lot of social media things, they say that OG is, like, the uh, bully, or should I say, like, she's the instigator but I'm like, I think Jen is the instigator. I think she starts a lot of stuff. She tells a lot of, a lot of stuff. But um, and then sits back and and wants to blame everybody else. But you play victim. But I think OG just speaks her mind. I don't think she's an instigator. I think that she is very blunt and direct and says exactly how she feels. So I think that's going to be uh, interesting. Uh. And this whole thing about Malaysia, like, mm, I'm just not going to say anything. It's amazing to me because I think the ladies have some colorism stuff going on. You know, OG's more on the darker side. So I think that they feel that she's not as attractive as some of the other ladies. And they let that be known. But yet at the same time, they're not going to approach her and step to her like they do the other ladies because... Um, I think OG got some hands. I think she will, she will rock your behind. So <laughs> they're, they're not too quick to address those issues they may feel. So that's, that's a, that's a problem right there. You know, they're not going to really say too much. They want to sit back and, um, you know, if you have a problem with someone, you should be able, everybody's grown. You should be able to discuss it and get it over with. But, um, that don't seem to be the case in this situation. So. Well, that's going to be my little comments on this show tonight. Uh, Cece wasn't on the trip, and of course, Tammy wasn't on the trip. And that is to be expected because why go? You know, they don't really rock with you, so why go? I don't blame them. All they're going to do is... Uh, 
piss you off. That's all. You know, why put yourself in that situation if you don't have to? And for what? The ladies, uh, and what strikes me, what I thought, another thing is that Shawnee thought that, you know, she says, oh, I thought that Jennifer and Evelyn will work this out. But when you was mad at Jennifer, you didn't want her to go with y'all on that trip. And when Evelyn brought her. So, you know, to me, the ladies do a little tit for tat all the time. Like, no, we don't care what you want. We're going to do this anyway. So, I guess they feel like this makes for entertainment. This makes for good TV. Uh, do friends really behave that way? I don't know. Leave a comment below. I don't have friends that behave like that. If I don't rock with you, I don't rock with you. My friends know... <laughs> <laughs> not to invite you to an event or invite you to something I, I, I'm going to be at. Like, why would you invite someone you don't really care for or have an issue with to something, especially a woman's trip? So, like I said, women are messy, and these ladies show you that every week. I don't have friends that behave this way. And... The, the funny thing about it is that they have so much money and still act like, hmm, well, I won't, I won't go there, but hey, thank you for watching my video until the next one. Peace.